What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Jeepers Creepers 5 in this video here today. Didn't think I'd have an update on Jeepers Creepers 5 this fast after my last Jeepers Creepers video. But some very exciting news has been discovered. Shout out to you Horror Fire for sending this my way. Uh, Timo Verinsola will not be involved with Jeepers Creepers 5. And that is the news that I wanted to share in this video here today. The reason I am excited is because many of you agree with me that Jeepers Creepers 4 somehow managed to exceed the travesty that we thought was Jeepers Creepers 3. So much so that many of you say you revisited 3 and came to appreciate it a lot more. Now I'm not going to say I've revisited that movie since because I actually don't plan on revisiting 3 or 4. I'll continue to ex continue to pretend that there's only two Jeepers Creepers movies and I'll continue to just, just watch those too. However, if there were a time where I wanted to turn one of turn one of these other two on, yes, I will turn on three over four. It's just completely baffling to me how four said you thought three was bad. Watch this. It literally set out to be something more worse or more inferior <laughs> than three. And it exceeded. It passed with flying colors. It's really just still just so like how bro how well we we know how when you hire someone who doesn't really seem to have a passion for horror really seems to be very amateurish in terms of filmmaking capability not to say that i'm the best filmmaker out there because i don't i haven't made a film a day in my life but at the same time it's very clear to see when you sit down and watch movies what's amateurish and what's not amateurish and then when i was looking at those iron sky films i started thinking to myself we might be in for a disaster and that's exactly what jeepers creepers 4 ended up being now he said this in response to a fan. Well, actually, he put up a post saying that he's recording audio for a upcoming Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers Reborn reboot, or not reboot, but commentary tracks for a steel book that's coming out for Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> but in the comment sections, someone asked Timo, will there be a Jeepers Creepers 5? He said, I don't know, but I won't be involved either way. So regardless, if it happens or doesn't happen he's saying he will not be involved and i say this for myself and many others who agree with me thank god he will not be involved i just don't the minute that i started getting all this dirt sent to me about stuff that timo has done all this negativity around timo and his his apparent shenanigans that have gone on with the iron sky projects i was just like we gotta get this dude out of here and then of course sitting down watching jeepers creepers 4 seeing an intro video with him basically begging you to like the movie i'm like okay i'm in for a, i'm in for a shit show and that's it that that's exactly what it ended up being shout out to dave mccray yes jeepers creepers 4 ended up being a freaking shit show so jeepers creepers 5 knowing that he will not be involved i am happy he actually had some comments that came out after Jeepers Creepers 5 talking about the possibility of the Creeper going to space. I'm like, bro, don't put this in your little Iron Sky universe. We don't need that. We need you to step away. And it looks like he won't be involved one way or another, according to his own words. He's saying he won't be involved. So now that begs the question, who could we look forward to seeing in the director's, director's chair at the helm of another Jeepers Creepers project in the future? Firstly, of course, we need to be able to get another Jeepers Creepers project off the ground. However, with Jeepers Creepers 4 still tied up in this lawsuit, this lawsuit is still something that's ongoing. They are still set to have a jury trial actually next year in 2024. Myriad Pictures and Infinity Films, because remember that lawsuit and this lawsuit that Timo claims he didn't know anything about. Now, mind you, even if you didn't know anything about that, that is very sketchy. The fact that you were brought into a project they had an ongoing lawsuit or a, a pending lawsuit and you just still didn't know anything about it. That's just very peculiar. I think he did know about it. And I think something regarding this lawsuit is starting to end up impacting anything they might have had planned for a Jeepers Creepers 5. So Timo won't be involved. Hopefully next it will be Jake Seal who won't be involved and Oral Studios, who is also associated with Jake Seal. I think that's his production company. Infinity Films, get them out of here. Infinity Films, though, I think is head of is headed by Michael O'Hoven, who has the rights to produce Jeepers Creepers movies. So if he ends up losing the rights and it reverts back to American Zotrope, then that's just what it'll end up being. And if they want to give the rights to someone else, then so be it. Everybody that was involved with 
the train wreck that ended up being Jeepers Creepers 4 that set out to basically not give a fuck, just wanted to profit off of a notable IP, get them out of here. We need people who care. We need quality content. We don't need any more of that foo-foo shit. We need something of quality, something that will live up to those first two movies. Not necessarily the best thing ever, but something that can at least be watchable for you to, well, I guess at this point it is three, <laughs> but even better than three. Uh, bring back Trisha if you want to. And again, I've stated many times, we don't even need to really do that. It's just something I would really like to see. It's something I would prefer. You can easily still create a sequel to those first two movies. Set it 23 years later. If you don't want to open up in a barn, that's fine. Give us a bit of exposition dumping to explain what happened to old man Taggart. Shit, maybe we can focus on a new crop of characters. Make it known that it's still set within that same 20 within that same universe as the first two movies you can set it sometime after the creeper has already escaped the barn maybe jack's son jack jr will appear help our new crop crop of characters who are battling the creeper now and explain what happened to his father and that's just the end of that but i would prefer to say story centered on the character of trisha gina phyllis back in the role possibly somehow if we are lucky justin long cameo and possibly just have somebody involved with this project who is passionate enough about the horror pro about the horror genre to produce something of quality maybe they aren't the biggest jeepers creepers fan but maybe they're a fan of creature features we could see their take on jeepers creepers and what they want to bring to the table obviously it's unlikely that we'll have a notable director at the helm of this project but you could have somebody who is just trying to get their feet wet somebody who is willing to take on any controversy that might come their way because at least they will have something to get their foot in the door. Maybe this ends up being their big break. You never know. Somebody who's willing to take on that negativity that could come with this because they do not already have a a status that they've built for themselves like a James Wan or some of these other directors. I know many of you would love to see tackle this IP. They're not going to touch this. They're not going to touch this. You're going to have to look to somebody who might be more indie, somebody who is looking for a big break and maybe they find it here in this project get jonathan Breck back obviously in the makeup of the creeper not not even that bring back the makeup that is creeper-esque what we got in jeepers creepers are born that was unacceptable so the timo bit that was just something that got me very excited i wanted to share that with you guys and they are still going to have a full-fledged jury trial in 2024 at best or at the latest i think the next thing we could hear about any positivity or potential news about a Jeepers Creepers 5 is next year after that jury trial. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.